It's Easter coming up, but chocolate eggs just aren't gonna crack it for some people. In this video, I'm gonna be making an 18 karat white gold and diamond egg, so stay tuned. So I grew up in the 80s and my only reference to Fabergé was dodgy perfume ads on TV. For every man who wears Brut, there's a woman who loves what he smells like. There's something about Brut that's nice to be close to. Brut, it smells like a man. It wasn't until I started my apprenticeship as a diamond mounter that I learned about the real Fabergé and their legendary craftsmanship. This is because the Fabergé brand was sold and resold so many times that it lost its identity. But after the clothes and the perfumes and the hair products, Fabergé finally regained its integrity and focused on the highest of high-end jewellery and craftsmanship. It's what they were originally known for and today they are back on top of their game. Tsar Alexander III commissioned the very first imperial egg. A white enamel egg with the golden yolk, within which lay a golden hen. And inside that hen was a tiny replica of the imperial crown with a ruby egg. The imperial crown and ruby egg have been lost. But who knows, one day they may emerge again in some aristocrat's personal collection. This gift started an iconic relationship between the Tsar and the Fabergé company. And it sparked a series of eggs, each more elaborate and more valuable than the last. Just keep it down, down inside Yeah, you and I Both longing for expression For the things we like But we stay quiet Hold me now, hold me now Tell me things, tell me all about How you feel Just let yourself go Just let it go. 
Alexander seems like a dream client, giving Fabergé full creative license to create any design that they wanted, but always with a hidden surprise. The Tsar and his family's demise was a tragic affair. And today, only 43 out of a rumored 50 eggs whereabouts are known. I wonder what happened to the rest. Almost certainly stolen, they may have been hidden away or melted down and turned into other new jewelry designs. Maybe one day they will surface in a car boot sale and end up on the Antiques Roadshow. Who knows? Stories and myths surrounding these eggs and the Romanov family are vast and fascinating. So I definitely suggest that you go and check them out as we just can't fit them all into this short video. Hope you liked our diamond egg. In our next video, I'm gonna be collaborating with another craftsman to make a very special phone case. So if you wanna see that, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications. Happy Easter, and I'll see you next time.